So we figured out a new and better way to sell all this. And if I can just find the exit, and I know it's lacking extremely right here. I haven't loaded the chunks, it just came here. But if you go down here, oh, I can't even get down there. How would I get down? Oh, over here. All right, so this right here is the new way of selling. So what you do is that you use, I don't know who the fuck fucked up here. Like it's, I don't know, man. But what you do is that you uh, pretty much from the bottom right here, you start mining all of these um, fire charges. And when you do that, let me grab one right here. When you do that, it will then travel. If let's say you broke a chest all the way over here, it will then go all the way. Now I'm gonna go into a call with um, with some of the faction members so we can we can try this out. Uh, but pretty much this is what happens, and then all of this goes to one spot. And whenever you are at one spot, and you're gonna see that in the video as well, wherever that is, that's right here. Then you will be able to just do slash outpost sell or shop. Um, and then you can just sell, sell, sell because it's automatically going into your inventory. So there's going to be like 10,000 entities for a few seconds. Um, but then it's all it, like you sell it all and it's, it's just a way better way to do it. Since there's so many fire charges, we now have, let me see how much we have. We now have almost 800 silverfish, which is going to make it very hard to empty all of these chests right here. Uh, but like open them, outpost sell, sell it, and then boom again. So, so of course, this way right here makes it a lot easier, and I'm going to show you that right now. All right, let's um, let's set all this shit. Yeah, I'll break the chests. Damn, it's filled all the way up. Yeah, shit, I need to empty my inventory before I do this. Uh, outpost shop. Is somebody is somebody holding the outpost? We have it. Yeah, but is somebody holding it so we don't lose it when we have like ten thousand entities down here? No. <laughs> oh. We both say, let's go. Uh, yeah, well, that can't be healthy. There's three of you guys down there. Maybe we need one more to to break it. Uh, let me PB one. Oh, I only got efficiency 3. Let me go... Um... Oh, there we are. Perfect. Where are we breaking now? Oh, uh, lack. Uh, I got this. Make sure to place the chest back after. Take some breaks to the left side. <laughs> breaking is so much faster than me. But how? Oh wait, I know, just take this. No, go back and take it. Because I, I think I got the way. So you're going to take this one, I'm going to take the next one. When is clear line? Okay, it's good, we're good. I'm just going to quickly speed this part up here, because it's mainly just me breaking some chests and see all the entities fall. So nothing really was said in this one, and it's just like two minutes of just breaking chests. Dexter, you remember the chest you said it would never get filled? Yeah, those ones are filled. Oh. Yeah, but then that's because nobody have actually sold, you know. So apparently, we are raiding Africa. Uh, it looks like the cannon is waiting. I'm not sure if it's completely filled. It, it sure is. So apparently we are raiding Af Africa, and I had no clue about it. This right here is from like yesterday or whatever. Um, I had no clue we were raiding them at all. So I, I kind of just locked on, saw it in the fact that like, what, what's going on in here? And then we're actually raiding them. So let me go ahead and skip to where we actually start cannoning, because I can see the cannon is already built. Don't shoot again, don't shoot again. Oh Stand shit, that forward. hurts. Stand forward, don't shoot, don't shoot. There was a dispenser first in the wrong way in the armor. And the sand uh, can't block that a lot. Oh shit. Oh. Well, that's... And something is warm. Some like a dispenser or something is placed warm. There's obsidian yeah, just, in the uh, sand. Oh, there's obsidian in the sand? Yeah, someone TP, I don't have a part, I don't have a... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, make sure you check those dispensers that is... that came out of it. Oh, yeah. Alright, no. Yep, right doing it now. Yeah. Check all dispensers. Should we check the ones in the actual cannon as well? Yeah, there's none there. Yeah, there's a seating here, Dexter. I'm in the main cannon. Yeah, give me like a second here. I think we forgot to check for lava buckets. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you, they can't even open, can they? Like over dispenser? Yeah, they can. They can. You can't. 
Oh. oh, it is. Remove the empty buckets. Uh, Dexter. What? The sound comp. What about the sound comp? Uno problemo. Uh, like there's some sand that leaves over. I've had this glitch before. That'll cause the sand comp to blow up. What do you want about? The sand comp can't blow up. It's impossible. No, like. It's hard to explain. Just, just stay there. Watch after it shoots. The sand will stay, and then if you shoot again, it'll, like, blow up. Actually, I'd probably should say it won't blow oh. up, it'll, like, it'll fall on the ladders the next time you shoot. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Alright, well. I had that with my camera. Yeah, well, it's something weird. Like, fucking hell. Let me see if I can fix it. It's most likely, um. It's most likely a tick that is wrong. Let me see, let me fix it real quick. Alright, let's have a look. If you take a tick off there, though, it'll end the stock by one. Yeah. Just keep it how it is, but just wait, like, guys. Does it let through the right amount of sand or too much? Um. I don't know. Materials. Everything is right, besides the stone and dispensers, but yeah, you know. Do you mind if I uh, disable this um, red sand thing? Just quickly see if it's that. Go for it. Alright. That should be it, right? Yeah, that should be it. Uh, let's try to shoot one more time. Who's the bus impressor? I don't want to get the blame whenever, you know. Oh, yeah, it was the wet sand. It was the wet sand. Yeah. You like don't even ask me why it's, it's that. You know, it's just I don't know. It's the same if you add like one tick to your hammer for an example, then the sand comp won't work because then it's getting stuck for some fucked up reason that has nothing to do with anything. Who is wet paint? Is he in our faction? No, he's on. Alright, then shoot. Are you good? Yeah, he's here. As well as it's Danny G. We already got caught. We had a few cannon problems, fixed it, and now we, we're getting problems. Scatter is low. Scatter is. I don't yeah, know what that's going to be. There's an obby in the hammer. Fuck, see, some big man. I don't have to pick. I can break it. Oh, um, they're attacking, guys. How did how did we get a fucking like oh how did we get that and, and lava in the hammer? Oh, like, somehow you mean they came and put it in there. Yeah, but how are they inside the cannon? No, not right now. No, it's probably before. They can't get in, can they? I've watered and put samples on this thing. The lava was they already. They can phase. <laughs> oh, that worked. Who's at the walls right now? I am. I am. Mint, Dexter. Oh, Mint, Dexter. Well, remember, only shoot, only shoot if the sand is, is like all the way up, you know? Oh, shit. When all this... Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Listen, you oh, need to make sure... Danny. Dexter, right behind you, it's Danny. So, so what did... What are you saying? Did the cannon blow up because of there clear was, light? There was a random entity clear when it blew up. Mm, how much... How, how much of it... Blew up. Like the whole middle. Uh oh. The middle and the side. Quite a lot. They need to stop TNT being cleared from Anthony Clear. Yeah. I think that will end off this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But before we go, I kind of want to show you guys the lower part of our base. More because um, we've kind of did something pretty cool down here. So, you know, something about the quest. Let me, uh, if you go into here, uh, quests. So right here it uh, tells you you have to break flowers, iron, skeletons, pumpkins, you know, all these things. Um, so all the animal related things, like when you have to kill the pigs, when you have to kill the, what is this, sheep, uh, when you have to kill the wolves or the cows or the endermans or the spiders, we got it all placed up right here in the little corner. So you pretty much... Very easy to make your quest. Now my plan is on to expand this actually. I want to expand this in a way 
uh, so you'll be able to do all your quests here. So like for an example, uh, the flower one, I want to be able to do that as well. So you like, want to have like dispensers that will, will always take out flowers um, and pick them up by hoppers after you break it. Um, I'm, I guess we'll figure that out and see how that works. Uh, but at the moment, I just did this um, diamond one right here, uh, where we pretty much have this right here, and then we'll just mine it. Uh, and then from there, again, I'm going to expand. Now the flower one, I'm a little bit unsure how that will play out. I'm not really sure how I will be able to do that. Maybe you guys have some comments on the easiest way to break the flower and also somehow be able to pick them up again. Um, not really sure what we're going to do there or what I'm going to do there, but we'll see about that. Um, something with pumpkins as well. The, uh, pumpkins is not going to be that um, hard. It'll just make like 50 pumpkins in a line right here. The same with the melons. I'm pretty sure there's a quest for the melons as well. Um, skeletons is right up there. Uh, the flower one is the one I'm missing. I can do the iron right there. Um, and then we pretty much scored all our quest points, which is pretty cool because with press points you'll be able to do, do F upgrades. You heard so much about it. Go, go ahead and check it out. But I think that'll be enough of this episode, guys. I want to go ahead and take out some of the comments. That is Tain281. I would like that four hours wasted on that event back. And I agree. I didn't really like the event. I think the main reason is that they put so much price into the... Um, the raid event that who, that whoever breaches doesn't really get anything because all the other people are going to be there as well and you might end up losing maybe 150 million uh, to other people in, instead of actually the guy that went through 130 walls so i agree the event wasn't really the best now pro gamer says lacking on minecraft are you playing on a potato nope i am not and i have no clue why i lack normally i never lack out like that i've it's actually pretty rare that i see it and that's also why it pissed me so much off, is because it never happens to me. Like, I've never actually uh, been in a lag spike like that before, so that's why it just pissed me off when it happened, you know. So, um, last question comes from Colorx Gaming. It's my birthday, and I left you a little present in the comment section. Now, for the recent uh, donations as well, uh, Asuna, PQ1, and XEV0, Mero first. Mad nice. I want to thank you guys for donating to uh, Vanity MC and keeping this a better place. Now, I think that will again wrap up this episode. Remember to leave a like down below and comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions, um, special suggestions you guys would love me to do in this uh, faction series. Because right now, as you saw today, we filled a raid. Um, we had cannon problems uh, that lasted quite a long, quite a while. And after that, then I'm not really sure what's happening here. Uh, and after that, it just got discovered. No, that, that kind of sucks. So if you guys have anything else that's not raid related, go ahead and leave a comment down below for what you guys think. But I think that'll be just about it. Remember to subscribe to my. This is still. This is so stupid. Remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.